So I'd say a minute before I'm pushing out of the gate, it's really your time in the start hut. The preparation is done and it's, it's time to pursue the, the dream at that point. So at that point I would push forward and then put my poles over the, over the starting wand. And then with the five, five. four, five. three, usually around two is when I try to push out. Oh, I kind of, I like starting when you can still hear the, the clock counting you down. Push as hard as you can. Feel your legs burn right from the, from the start. You want to push and, until you're moving at, at such a speed that your pushes don't really matter anymore. Really the first turn, you're not traveling at full speed, so you really have to use your ankles. You have to use it more than you would on any of the other turns. You need to get to the next gate as fast as you can and always be in a hurry, be in a hurry, be in a hurry to get down the hill. Through each turn, wanting to go faster, wanting to build speed, using the whole ski, staying calm, knowing your plan, knowing that you've gone through the course so many times in your head that it's second nature and you'll just react to each gate. Once I get up to speed, the noise starts getting louder in your helmet and you can judge how fast you're going by the noise level. When you're up at 130, 140, it's so loud in your helmet that it's, it is really hard to think. We don't get up past 150 very often, but when we do, you, you almost, you can't, your brain just can't think. At those speeds, your eyes do start to water. It doesn't matter how tight your goggles are, that it's hard to see. You're just looking at the top and it's not a clear view of where the next gate is or what you're gonna do. It's, it's just kind of putting together the pieces as, as your head rattles around. Getting to a jump, you may be off by a hair left or right. You have to stay compact and that's the most important. When I'm about two thirds down the course, it's where I, I really need to push my, my mental. It's very easy to assess what's already happened, what's been going on, if you're having a good race or a bad race. and You have to stay in the moment, and it's the, it's the hardest part. If I just keep fo focusing on generating speed from turn to turn and still being in a rush to get from gate to gate, the process is happening, and it will pay off in the finish. From that point on, I mean, it's your, usually your legs are burning so much that you can't really feel them, it's, the lactic acids are built, has built up, so my tactics change a little bit. I usually get a little bit more depth in the turn and start the turn a little earlier because I know I won't have the, the same power that I had at the beginning. I have a plan for when I see the finish to not be eager to get to the finish, but to be eager to do the last couple turns as well as I can. And as I get closer to the finish line, I reach down and I put my arm down as far as far as I can to cross that beam.